Yeah, hi, Sam Mason from Tokyo Drift. Question from Taylor. I'm looking to get an idea of your race day warm up playlist. Uh, what are you really rocking to on race day? Oh, you slalom Tokyo Drift guys have a very distinct way of speaking as well. Uh, <laughs> I. I don't know all of the songs off the top of my head, um, but I can send them to you later. <laughs> I know two songs for sure, uh, Guts Over Fear by Eminem. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean a lot of radioactive yeah. for sure. Um, a lot of like Eminem's best like pump up rap songs, like Lose Yourself and all of, like, all those songs. Uh, So this is uh, this is actually my first gondolin show. I've, uh, I'm really excited about it. So a wise man once said that 90% of ski racing is intimidation. Do you believe in this logic? I mean, I hope not because I don't think I'm very intimidating. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think that would go very well for me. If you weren't ski racing right now, what would you be doing? Wow, that is a good question. Um, I like to think I would be playing a different sport, probably soccer, ideally tennis mm -hmm. or volleyball something warmer yeah that makes um, sense but i i really don't know it's hard to imagine my life without ski racing yeah what do you think people did before ladders how did they get up things like what was like going you, got, on? you have to change a light bulb yeah what are you gonna what do? are you gonna do like i mean I, maybe they just stacked on top of each I other mean, you must have been <laughs> or maybe they made like human rocks. pyramids yeah that's a possibility i don't know I don't know, that, that's a question that uh, that keeps me up at night sometimes. That, yeah, that's it's, a, it's a tough good one. question. Who do you think would win in a fight? LeBron James or 73rd graders? I think 73rd graders. I think it would be really hard and they'd need all 70 of them. Yeah. But I think that, you know, there's strength in numbers. I think the third graders could take him. Hottest guy on the World Cup. Oh, shit. Let's hear it. Whew. Honestly... I've always had a crush on Spindle. Uh, no. No. Wow, no. what? Who do you think is the hottest guy on, on the World Cup? Jetel Janschrun. Okay. With a, I mean, you know, he's a, a close margin. second. Why do the moons of other planets have names, but why is our moon just called Moon? Moon? That is such a good question. I don't You're even. You're like, why? No, but now my mind is blown. I know. Why it's crazy, right? It you think about all these other planets. The moon. Yeah. And then we're just sitting here with the moon. Any Super theories? lame. I, I don't know, but maybe we should name the moon. Alice Merriweather wants to name the moon. <laughs> Mark it down right now. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, do you think I'm a handsome guy? On a scale of one to like what, one what to would ten. I rate you? One is the worst, ten is the best. I'd say you're like a solid seven. Cool. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so imagine you're in an open field and there are just endless waves of geese coming towards you. Like endless, endless, endless. You're, you're like, you're going to die no matter what. Okay. Um, you can't, you can't escape this, but how many geese do you think you could kill before they overrun you and eventually everything goes? You know, I grew up on a pond okay. with a lot of geese. We've got swans. So you've got swans some are, yeah, yeah, I have swans a lot are of worse, yeah. yeah, exactly. I think I could take out quite a few. Quite a few. What's quite a few look like? I don't know. Talking maybe like 50? 50 is a lot. Geese are really aggressive. Yeah. I bet I could take out a solid 40, though. Solid 40 geese. I actually uh, am from Norwell. Oh. I live the town over from you. Um, 
Would you be interested in coming to my birthday party? When is your birthday party? You know, I might have it in the summer. It's in April, but I might have it in the summer just, you know, because more people will be home. I mean, yeah, if I'm around, I'll come. All right, cool. Party. Get that. Make sure you got that. <laughs> Name five things that are yellow and fit in a bread box. Go. Um, baby birds. Uh, Easter eggs. <laughs> yellow and fit in a bread box. Fast. Um, we got two. Oh my God. Quick. Ah, Quick. So much pressure. Um, lemons. Lemons. Peeps. Um, and I can't think of any small yellow things. What's wrong with yellow me? ping pong ball? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in uh, five years? Um. I mean, best case scenario, racing on the World Cup, mm -hmm. kicking ass, um, or at school. But I would like Not to still be on, uh, be on the World Cup. Cool. I think if you uh, take into consideration the, you know, hype warm-ups and yeah. the intimidation game. I think intimidation. I think that's entirely possible. I like it. Well, that's Alice Merriweather for you. Um, naming the moon. Big fan of spaghetti with sauce and uh, gonna work on her intimidation game. Yep. I'm going to your birthday. And it's going to my birthday party. I'm very excited. <laughs>
Give us a look into what your play hard looks like. Take my teammates, if they've never been to a place, let's go see something um, new, a new castle, a church, go wow. on a hike, you know, really? check out, like, right. <laughs> like, I always try to get people involved where we're going and like, if somebody has a suggestion for a suggestion for a lookout, mm -hmm. then I'm like, let's go get beers and like, take them up and watch the sunset because we live like such an unbelievable life that I, I really feel like we're, it's, we're too blessed to not experience it and be able to tell the stories and be able to, you know, show that this is like a beautiful life. Well, that's Racy Stiegler. <laughs> Amazing person. Your energy is contagious. Oh, uh, honestly, you're like the most fun person to talk <laughs> Thanks. to. Thanks so much for uh, oh, Thank you. The time. I'm stoked. You guys are awesome. Cool. Two thousand eighteen Killington World Cup, amazing time this year. To wrap, uh, big thanks to Tom Horks, uh, Chief Media Killington, setting all this up for us. Uh, always been on a great, great time for uh, us, Long Tokyo Drift guys. Really thankful for that. Uh, big thanks to Megan Harrod, setting up interviews, helping us with the athletes. Uh, absolutely awesome person. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks to Razy Stiegler, Alex Merriweather. Uh, Two awesome interviews, great people. Uh, big thanks to the man behind the camera, Carter Barasa, killing it uh, with the filming. And uh, finally, thanks to all the fans. Uh, it's it's so cool uh, being able to see this community, uh, being able to see people who uh, you know all support uh, all support Slam Tokyo Drift. Really exciting stuff. Um, looking forward to next year.